Now we turn to China. The 40-day Spring Festival travel rush starts on Monday. Nearly 1.2 billion passenger trips are expected this year in the world's largest annual movement of people. Official data shows the figure is expected to jump over 28 percent from the holiday season last year. COVID control and prevention measures still remain the top priority this year amid Omicron outbreaks in parts of China. Authorities say measures such as cutting off interprovincial and intercity road passenger transport services to and from areas as COVID risks have been imposed to ensure public safety. The Spring Festival, which sees tens of millions of Chinese people return home to reunite with their families, falls on February the 1st this year. Hi there, Pandong. I'm now at Guangzhou South Railway Station. It's one of the busiest high-speed railway stations in China. And, uh, you know, uh, this year, this station is estimated to uh, see some 15 million people during the 40-day travel rush. That is an, uh, about an average of about 400,000 passengers per day. And as you can see, a big crowd of uh, uh, passengers are coming in with their uh, luggage bags. And actually, uh, Guangzhou, this station plays a very important role in the Spring Festival travel rush every year, especially this year. Uh, because this province, Guangdong province, is the wealthiest in China. Therefore, it attracts the biggest number of migrant workers every day. According to official data, uh, the Guangdong's uh, population, 40% of the population are migrant population. And therefore, the capital city, Guangzhou, has become a very important uh, transportation, uh, transportation hub, not only within the province, but also in China. And this year, you know, the Spring Festival Travel Rush has put extra pressure on the station, especially uh, now we are battling a new outbreak of the COVID-19 here. So um, actually, uh, some uh, technology and smart devices are being used to help to ensure safety here. I want to show you, you can see some entrances inside the station. There are a dozen of entrances like this. Let's get inside to take a look. Those two lanes are for the passengers. And the lane that I am standing at is the, uh, for the staff. And you see that device over there like a door is to check the body temperature. And everybody goes through this door they to uh, show their house coat. But if a passenger doesn't have a cell phone like children or elderly people, or uh, if the signal is bad, what should we do? And they have another device here, let me show you. This is a 5G powered smart system. Uh, let me show you how it is being used. By scanning my ID card here, this system will retrieve my information here. Look, it shows my house code, it is green, low risk, and also it shows the latest results of my nuclear acid test. For example, this one, it is done on January 8th, and also it has shown uh, my uh, vaccination records. And by scanning, it only takes seconds and the passenger can pass by and go on his trip. It's very convenient. And actually inside the station, a total of 24 devices like this are available to raise efficiency. And of course, other health services inside the station include nuclear acid tests and vaccinations, and they're all for free. And as you can see, much work, much work has been done here. Uh, try to guarantee a smooth uh, spring festival travel rush. That's right. As you mentioned, Shanghai's public health clinical center, also the major hospital for COVID-19 treatments, has actually received the largest number of patients from overseas since the virus started to spread two years ago. And a new round of local transmission was just found in town last week. So at this point of time, we are not seeing many travelers at the Hongqiao airport. But I have some figures to share with you. Local authorities predict more than 23 million passenger trips are expected to be made in Shanghai during the Spring Festival travel rush by trains, by planes, or uh, self-driving. This figure will still be relatively low compared with uh, two years ago before the virus started to spread. But the figure will be higher than last year. And the peak traveling times are expected to be made uh, around January 29th. And because of COVID-19, there will be more people to 
drive home to celebrate the holiday, and an average of 350,000 uh, cars are expected to leave Shanghai every day during the Spring Festival travel rush. Well, uh, Shanghai so far has uh, one medium risk area, and uh, leaving Shanghai is, is not difficult, but there are many destinations requiring Shanghai travelers to take the nucleic acid test. So over the weekend, hospitals in Shanghai were welcoming long queues of people to take the tests. And there's one more thing we have to notice. The predictions made by local authorities were actually announced uh, in the end of uh, last December. So it's still unknown whether this uh, new round of COVID-19 outbreak in Shanghai will affect people's uh, decisions to leave Shanghai or not to celebrate the holiday. But local authorities have also made it clear during a news conference last week, encouraging people to stay in the city to welcome the arrival of Year of the Tiger.